Ms. Mofat Makori, I'm the Deputy Secretary General on this organization. Uh, briefly, and uh, uh, I'll be able to, I want to read out the press uh, so that uh, we react to it. Eh? So, uh, press release from the Kisi County Control Association over the stand on the preferred choice of the Kisi County gubernatorial candidate for the general for the 2022 general elections. Eh? Fellow members, uh, present and those with apologies, uh, the members of the fourth estate and the larger Kisi County residents. Uh, as you are aware, uh, we are we approaching the election period and we are in the campaign mood. Eh? A number of aspirants have come on board seeking the mandate of the people. And as such, the Kisi County, uh, Kisi County uh, people uh, have not been left behind. The Kisi County Constitution, uh, uh, being the key stakeholder in the Kisi County government, formed an other committee to, to fast track and organize the meetings of all the Kisi County gubernatorial aspirants to be vetted by the members. The aspirants were uh, Honorable Zekere Machogu, uh, Honorable Manson Yongo Nyamoya, Honorable Paul Simbarati, and Honorable Paul uh, Christopher Mogero Bure. After the vetting process, the committee retreated to deliberate on each candidate uh, with the aim of settling uh, uh, with the, and the candidate with highest score using the PRO parameters. A. The relevance of the candidate's aspirations with those of the Kisi County Control Association members. B. Published opinion polls for the Kisi County gubernatorial aspirants. And then C. County regional power balancing. On the relevance of the uh, candidate this is present with the those of the association, the vetted candidates were found, were found to have almost similar aspira uh, aspirations as to those of the contractors. However, one candidate stood out with the zeal and determination to clear all the genuine pending bills before the commencement of the new projects once he enters the governorship office, since this has been the major issue with the contractors. Then, on the issue of populist opinion polls for the Kisi County gubernatorial aspirants, the association was also guided by the various Kisi County opinion polls to narrow down to the preferred candidate. In this, two candidates stood out by closely trading each other, namely Honorable Paul Simba Arati, who comes from Wucha region, and Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, who comes from Kisi Central region. And then on the county regional power balancing, the county regional power balancing also played a very key role in this process. For instance, for the last two terms, uh, that's 10 years, the gubernatorial seat has been under the former Kisi Central Region. And on this, any well thinking and generous Kisi County voter should realize that this high time the seat goes to the former Gucha Region. From the above three parameters, the association and the, uh, the association reached and concluded to support a man with the determination to work for the people of Kisi County, a man with a general acceptance by the six clans of the Kisi County, a man with the aim for a better change in the county, a man with a trusted management record and with the heart of uplifting the contractors by fair distribution of opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to announce the endorsement of the candidate who stood out to be a better option, not the best option, but a better option, he might not be liked by a few people, but he has been loved and accepted by many and majority, including this association. The gentleman candidate is none other than Honorable Paul Simba Arati. Simba! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare and endorse as one of the members, the candidature of Vulnerable Paul Simba Arati, and I welcome the members 